Let's introduce our next magician, Rich Hurley. Yeah, now, Rich Hurley, you've probably seen performing on the uh, stages of the Magic Castle, but these days he's been extremely busy performing and entertaining online for both corporate events and national conferences. His new virtual magic online show literally breaks the screen barrier with funny moments that you're going to remember for a long time to come. So with that said, let's introduce our buddy, Rich, Rich Hurley. Hurley. Hey, everybody. You guys are great. What a tough act to follow, Raven and Migs. What a tough act to follow. Hey, I love working for the Magic Castle. Thanks for inviting me here. You know what I like best? They feed us. This is their Dine and Delight menu um, that they were talking about. And there's so many great things on this menu. Let me show you some of my favorite entrees on here, OK? Check this out. Look, look at this. Beef Wellington. Have any of you guys had Beef Wellington? It's delicious at the castle. Oh, but the filet mignon cooked just the way I like it. Now, sometimes you feel like a bowl of chili. That Magic Castle chili hits the spot. But personally, I never met a hamburger I didn't like. And then here at the Magic Castle, we call it the Owl Burger. Now, we, we magicians, this is not a real owl, by the way. It's, it's, it's Angus Burger. But we magicians, we do not call Grubhub. We do not call DoorDash. When we take something off the menu, we just take it off the menu. Ho -ho. Oh, look at that delicious owl burger. Oh, wait a minute. Um, you know what? I'm not a big drinker, but I sure do love my iced tea. Real iced tea. Mm. Real refreshing. Now, when the magician takes something off the menu, we really do take it off the menu. It's gone. All right, I'm sure the chef's cooking up more Al Burger there. Everybody loves that dine and delight menu, the Magic Castle. Well, everyone, thank you for, for uh, being so attentive here. We are audience participation. Now, what would a magic show be without a card trick? And what would a card trick be without someone to help me pick a card? So I'm going to reach over here to the gallery here and pick out someone. I need someone, yeah, wave and give me a, oh boy, if you're having a good time, go ahead. I see this young lady here, um, Kathy uh, Wessels, is it? Kathy Wessels, can you unmute yourself there? You're on the virtual stage. Can everyone see Kathy? Wave to her. Kathy, do you hear me okay? Yeah. Awesome, thanks for helping out. Let me show you something really cool. This is the most powerful card in all of magic. It's the Joker. <laughs> and I keep it in this hermetically sealed jar. One card, the Joker. Well, you don't, you don't have to take my word for it. <sighs> Open it up there, it's very tight. I'll show you there really is a Joker in this jar. I kid you not. I am completely transparent. There is a Joker. Now watch carefully, Kathy. Watch carefully. I'm going to take this card and fold it up. I'm going to place it in the jar. Now, in a loud, clear voice, Kathy, I want you to tell everybody, are, is there any doubt in your mind there is a joker in this jar? Any doubt? No. No, there is a joker in this jar. Now, I'm going to close the jar up. <sighs> Do you see the second joker? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, OK, that's all right. Now, watch carefully. This is going to go right here in the do not touch zone. This is now virtually tamper proof. Now we need a deck of playing cards. And a lot of people wonder, do we buy our playing cards or where do we get them? Well, we make our own. And this is my do it yourself playing card kit. Now, when you uh, get a do it yourself playing card kit, they don't even give you the box to put the cards in. No, they give you these blank forms. It's up to the magician to create the artwork so it starts looking a little bit more like a real deck of playing cards. Now, fold flap A to flap B, flap B to flap C, flap C to flap D, uh, there, flap D to flap E. They say I'm unflappable, I don't know. Say the magic word, floxy noxy nil helification, and look, a regulation deck hey, of playing cards. I know some of you <laughs> watching are not And now, Kathy, we can pick a card, all right? Now, this is the obligatory pick a card segment of the show. Kathy, just say stop anytime. Stop. Seven of hearts, is that a good one? Yes, okay, good. Now, I'm gonna personalize this card. So, uh, Kathy, may I have the last four digits of your social security number, please? <laughs> 
8182. <laughs> 8182. I hope you made that up. Because when people give me the, the real ones, I'm living high on the hog for about a month. A lot of people watching here. All right, so Kathy, there's your 8182, supposedly, your social. And I'm going to place this card in the center of the deck face up so you know it's really going in there. I'm going to mix the cards up face up so you know they're really being mixed up. Now, Kathy, I am not one of those namby pamby skillet licking, card cheating, false shuffling, ne'er do wells. <laughs> These cards are as mixed up as I am, and I'm as mixed up as confetti in a wind tunnel. <laughs> Pretty mixed up. All right, now I'm going to do the world's fastest card trick. Uh, for that, I need a drum roll, please. Excellent. Good. World's fastest card trick. Here we go. Fastest card trick. <laughs> Great. Would you like to see it again? <laughs> No. <laughs> oh, no, I don't blame you. It's just taking too long. Now, over here, you will see there is something inside this jar. Now, we know it's the Joker. It's been there the whole time, never gone out of view of the camera. In fact, I'm going to very carefully keep it in view of the camera at all times. That Joker is still in there. But, I'm trying to get this thing out. I'm going to show you this. Now, if you were here, I would actually pour this into your hand. There's nothing else in the jar, and it is the uh, Joker, yeah. But Jokers are wild, and there it is, your card with your fake social security number, the world's fastest card trick. Hey! <laughs> Kathy, thank you so much for helping out. You were really awesome. Now, be very careful leaving the virtual stage. Don't trip. Okay, watch your step. Thank you. You know, they say most accidents happen at home, so we got to be very, very careful. Now, the most common question people ask magicians is how do you do it? And some magicians pretend to tell you how they do certain tricks. Here's one that's been revealed at the Magic Castle many times. It is the venerable silk handkerchief trick, but they never tell you the whole secret. I'm going to show you the whole secret right there. We use patent bending black hole technology. And also, we know that silk is very sensitive to static electricity. So as I build up a static charge on this handkerchief, all the protons and the photons and the electrons and the croutons, all the tons become energized. And you see this really amazing cacophony of colors. A virtual spectral supernova as it passes through my statically charged hand. And it looks like real magic as long as you don't open this hand. Actually, we can. Because you see, this is the whole secret right here. There's still a hole in this handkerchief. That's a real hole. That's a real finger. Reminds me of my Uncle Ralph's trick. <laughs> he thought it was funny. <laughs> All right, I was just a little kid, who knows. Anyway, this is where we hide the extra handkerchief, right here in the center of the black hole. It is actually coming from the very fabric of space and time. Only from one side of the black hole. It's very weird. Watch. Now only I and Albert Einstein know how this trick is done. And Albert's not talking. But this is not the whole secret. This is the secret of the whole. You see, there is a distinction. See, the audience, they knew about this one. This is the secret handkerchief. So what I do before I start the trick is I secretly and covertly smush this into a tight little ball. And once this handkerchief has been smushed in, fully smushulated, that's a technical term we use, I use this handkerchief here as misdirection. And then they don't notice that I'm holding, uh, well, wait a minute. Oh, what? You, you, know, you know what it is? It really is static electricity. See, I'm building up that static charge. Once again, those molecules, those photons, those electrons become energized. And as it passes through my statically charged hand, you see this dramatic chromatic change. This tricky technicolor transposition. This semi-spectacular spectral shift. <laughs> And that's the whole secret to the trick. In fact, that is the whole truth. Nothing but the truth. So help me God. <laughs> oh, no doubt about it, I gotta start telling the truth. Now, 
As I'm doing these virtual meetings for corporations and trade shows, I'm trying to break the screen barrier. See, there's a barrier between us. It's an LED screen, an LCD screen, a, a plasma screen, some sort of a screen. My goal as a magician is to break that screen barrier. And when we break the screen barrier, we can do something really amazing. So for my next illusion, I need someone with a great imagination. So I'm going to go back out to the gallery. Wave your hand. Oh, look, I see some very, very friendly people waving their hands. I'm going to bring them on to my second screen here. And uh, go ahead. would you go ahead and unmute there for me? Is that Debbie Belkin? Oh, Debbie? Can, are we unmuted there? Unmuted. Hey, hey, hey! Now, hey. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we're now looking face to face. Isn't this kind of a cool view? Yes, because very you're cool. gonna, it is. And you're going to make something from your side of the screen magically appear over here. By the way, that is a gorgeous kitchen. I got to tell you. Oh, thank you. We love it. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. All right. Now, OK, I want you to imagine, first of all, that we have some great music playing in the background, some card picking. Mu wow, you're good. I hear that music too. All right. Now, um, Debbie. Yes. Imagine you're holding a deck of cards. Okay. Hold it up so everyone can see it. Shuffle those cards up really good. Get them all shuffled up. Yes. Excellent. Oh, uh, Deb, Debbie, Debbie, you might want to take it out of the box first. Yeah. All right. Okay. It's a cheap shot. That's what we call a hack line. I only do one hack line in the show and that was it. All right. Go ahead. Sh shuffle those cards really, really good. All right. Now take one card out and look at it and memorize it, but don't tell me what it is. Take that card and memorize it. Now, we don't need these cards over here, so on the count of three, I'm gonna ask you to throw them over to my side of the screen, okay? One, two, three. Oh, gee. <laughs> I should have asked you to take them, put them back in the box. Okay, all right. Sorry. Never mind, all right, that's all right. Now. This is going to be your target, an empty wine glass. And you're holding a card at your fingertips, yes? So on the count of three, I'm gonna ask you to throw that card into this wine glass. Are you up to the challenge? I am. We're testing your imagination now, okay. On the count of three, one, two, three. Through the internet. <gasps> Whoa. She did it, everyone. A card has actually come all the way through the screen. Now, Kathy, you have not mentioned what that card is yet. So to verify this is the actual card that you threw, would you please name the card? Four of Diamonds. No way. No, I want you to see there is just one playing card in here. You can see it. You can hear it kind of wiggling around in there. Now, if I turn this card around and it's the Four of Diamonds, would that be a good trick? Yeah, yeah, amazing trick. No, oh, come on. Yes, it would be amazing. Yeah, Absolutely. Amazing. And you know what? It is the four of diamonds. You got it. Yes. That is unbelievable. How did you do that? And look, it's not like I have a whole bunch of other cards in there. That was the only card that you threw over there. Everybody, give her a big hand. I think she did a great job. As a matter of fact, I think she's getting a standing ovation right now. Whoa. Nice job. Thank you for helping out. All right. Well, so far, these have just been tricks, to be quite honest with you. Hopefully, you think they're pretty good tricks, but I do believe in real magic. And the real magic, like the magic of a sunset. We had an awesome sunset yesterday after the storm clouds out here in San Clemente. It was awesome. Also, the magic of life itself and the magic of the love between two committed human beings. So for my next illusion and by magical illusion I want to pick someone from the audience who's a couple so can we get some smoochers out there let's let's see some people smooching come on everybody get smooching out there and uh, I'm looking for some smoochers okay oh no 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 guys you yeah, get a room get a room okay and let's see here I am looking I see someone here Okay. Oh, here's some smoochers. I'm going to bring them on screen. It's John Chamberlain, I believe it is. John Chamberlain. And uh, what is your, your name, young lady? Vicki. Vicki. Hi. Thanks for helping out. These guys are awesome. What a nice looking couple. So how long have you guys been together? 42 years. <sighs> no way. Wow. 42 years. John, how, what is your secret? That is absolutely amazing. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's the I'm word. Deaf. 
<laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> now, uh, so now, where did you guys meet? Lake Coeur d'Alene on a cruise. On a cruise, any particular place on the ship? Was it you doing something fun? Dancing. All right, that's that's great. That's a great way for a couple to meet. Now, let me um, tell you that I believe that it's all fate and chance. When you know, dating and uh, relationships is really a game of a chance. Would you guys agree? Yeah, you agree? All right, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to have you, uh, John, John, I'm going to have you just take a card completely at random. So I'm going to shuffle through the cards, and then wherever you say stop, that'll be your card, okay? Stop. Yeah. Okay, good. Four of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's, that's lovely. That is awesome. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot. It's been how many years? Did you say 42 years? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to put you on this spot. Do you remember your anniversary date? 210. Two, ten. Well, of course you remember it, because if you didn't remember it, you wouldn't be married for 42 years. All right, yeah. there it is. There it is. That, oh, let me, let me write your name on there, too. Uh, John, is it J-O-H-N? Yes. J-O-H-N. All right, now we've really... Unique, uniqueified this card. And you could have picked any one of these cards, but fate kind of stopped here at this card. Now, what I'm going to do, whoops, <laughs> wow, get a little fumbly here. Oh, too much caffeine. All right, now I'm going to take your card and I'm going to put it face down in the deck so it is truly lost in the deck, just like you were before you met. How true. <laughs> yes. All right, uh, not Debbie, what was it? Vicky. The 70s were good to me. What is your name? Vicky. Vicky, that was it. Okay. Thank you for remembering. I'm glad somebody is. All right, now go ahead and just say stop anytime. You're going to pick a card too. Okay, stop anytime. Great. Eight of diamonds. That's a good sign. Eight diamonds. Wow. That is awesome. And I'm going to write your name on there. Now, Vicky, how do you spell your name? V I C K I. V I C K I. K I. And I'll put a little heart there for the I. How clever I am? All right, whatever. Yeah, All right, now this card's really going to go into the center of the deck. Look at this. Now, two cards have been picked completely at random. Two cards have been placed in random places in the deck. And remember, I'm not one of those namby pamby, skillet licking, card cheating, false shuffling ne'er do wells. These cards are really being mixed up, but you might think that I'm somehow manipulating these cards. So I'm going to bring out my love bag. <laughs> oh, here it is. My love bag. Now, do you see anything inside the bag? No. 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 Completely empty. Hello. 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 Nice echo. Cavernous. All right. This bag is used for the patent bending Shamuli Shuffle, which is the most fair way to mix up a deck of cards. Kind of shake and bake. Now, legend has it, Cupid selects couples with a bow and arrow. Now, in my case, my wife used this. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I do, I do. <laughs> no, I actually had to beg her twice to, to marry me on Bended Me. And, and we've been married for 18 beautiful years. I'm in the married up club. All right. Now, uh, now, normally when I do this at the Magic Castle, I have the couple, one of the couple throw the knife and one of them shake the bag. <laughs> And uh, let me ask you, who's the best dart player here? Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, good. It's usually the guy. Okay. Now, actually, I'm no longer allowed to have guests throw the knife because of the unfortunate brunch incident. You might see there's some evidence there on the end of my... <laughs> yeah, all right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to spear both cards. If I get both of these cards as the bag is shaking, then you guys truly are meant to stay together, and you will be together for a long time, which... It already happened. Okay, here we go. Already happened. Yeah, for a long time. Oh, ow! Oh, oh, wait a minute. I only got one. Uh, this is disappointing. It's a tough night. It's a tough shift, as they say. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I want you to see something here. Now there are absolutely no other. Uh, the whole deck is in here. Okay, but uh, Vicky, your card is not in here because. This is kind of weird. Check this out. Look at the other side of the card. Wow. Very good. Oh, no. 
<laughs> and, no, and look at this. The card is very thin. It's not two cards glued together. These two cards have actually fused together very much like your two lives have fused together for 42 really beautiful years. And that, my friends, is real magic. Thank you. <laughs> yes. But that is not the magic trick. The magic trick is not spilling the drink. <laughs> I'd like to make a toast to a beautiful couple. May you find all the love and happiness that life can hold. And at the end of all your rainbows, may you find a pot of gold. Cheers. That's it. Give that couple another hand, huh? Wow. Okay, back over to Raven and Meg. You guys, you guys are awesome. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Rich Hurley, uh, great job, great job. Appreciate it. Let's give it up Rich Hurley one more time. Huh? All right.